What's up guys, it's Leanne Henry and I'm back with another video. So this is day three of 12 days of Christmas and we're gonna do a walkthrough Wednesday. So if you follow me on Instagram at Leanne Henry right here, then you will know that on Wednesdays, I do walkthrough Wednesdays on my Instagram story. So this property that we're walking through is on my Instagram story. However, I'm gonna do a closer deep dive for you all to see a little bit more about the specs and the vibe of the house. So keep watching. Okay, so it's getting dark outside. Um, in Michigan, it gets dark at like 5 p.m. So we don't have much time. We have this adorable new construction home. Look at how cute that is. So it has landscaping. Obviously it's dyed already because it's very cold outside, but this beautiful walkway leading up to the house. It has stonework as well as the wood and the siding on the house. So let's head inside and check it out. Okay, so when I first come inside, the very first thing that I notice is the space. Look at how expensive this area is. So everybody loves the open concept, dining spaces right now, dining slash living slash whatever you wanna call it, it's a catch-all space. So that's what they have when you walk in here. But to the left of the front door, so again, that's the front door right there. To the left is what would be an office, a library, or a study. So over here they have a built-in with storage and then a granite countertop. It also has this ship lap on here. So you can build a bookshelf, you can mount a TV for displays, you can put artwork on the wall, whatever you wanna do in this room. So continuing through the house, on the left-hand side we have a powder room over here. Super cute, adorable little powder room. It's a cute choice of mirror. I'm not sure if that mirror will stay with the house. They may have put it up there as like a staging mirror, but um, powder room right off of the kitchen living area. So I'm gonna take off my jacket because we have a lot of house to see and I'm already hot. Okay, so give me a second. So into the kitchen, which is what everyone calls the heart of the home, okay? I'm actually a huge fan of what they've done in this kitchen. So I really appreciate the colors that they chose, the lighting fixtures that they chose, and all of the appliances that they chose. So these countertops, um, so they have, I'm actually not sure whether or not this is a quartz countertop, but it does look like it. And then over here, they have the gray to kind of complement the gray tones that are in this countertop. Really, really good choice. So you have a mixture between exposed shelving and closed in cabinets. So I really like these because you can style these any kind of way, you can make them really, really cute, um, get all white glassware or whatever the case may be. They did not skimp on appliances, which I am greatly appreciative of because I hate when I see a very expensive home and they didn't, um, they, they got cheap appliances, like why would you Why would you do that? So I love a good range. If you're a true chef, then you'll know the value of a gas range. This island looks like it's probably about a six foot island, but they have a good clearance right here in between the stove and the countertop. So have you ever heard of like your work triangle, like when you're, when you're cooking? Your prep, your cook, and your clean. So you have your prep work over here, cook over here, and then the sink is right over here. The way that they designed this kitchen is perfect. It has a really, really great work triangle for me. Oh, who took geometry? Do you guys remember like what that triangle is where it's kind of got a long part and then maybe it was an obtuse triangle, something like that, I don't know. Okay, let's see the rest of the house. So over here is what would be your formal dining space. You would probably put like a longer table right here, something that goes right in the center of this light. And then over here you have pantry. Bunch of space to put whatever you want. Like there's a lot of counter space, there's a lot of storage space, but I love the fact that they still have a really, really giant pantry as well. And then over here, we have a built-in workspace slash coffee bar slash wine bar, pretty much whatever you want to turn it into. But a lot of the times you'll see people will put their wine rack here or they'll put their Keurig or their coffee machine. To kind of just have it, give it its own uh, identified space, but it still is a part of the kitchen and a part of the, the, the life. And then over here, 
they have a built-in workspace so there's room for you to put a chair or a bench or something underneath it so um, I've seen people set this area up with their computer so that they can watch their kids play or whatever the case may be but they still have like a, a separate space continuing through the house up here is the upstairs which I cannot wait to show you guys but down here is a living room. So it's funny because in my mind, it's kind of like a spin on the sunken in living room that they used to have in the 70s. So it's like, it has this small little step down. You'll see this little gentle step. <laughs> it has a gas fireplace, space for you to mount a TV, and then doors leading to the backyard. I like how many areas this house has for like congregation, right? So it just seems like it's a really, really great family home for people to come and have different areas of activity and space and just people to just uh, commune and fellowship with each other, so to speak. <laughs> and then into this room, so there's an attached garage and a mud room. Oh, it's a win-win. Straightforward two-car garage, nothing too fancy about it. So they're still finishing up this mud room, but I think it's gonna be a cute one. Okay, so now we're gonna check out the basement. I'm not really a huge fan of the basement, but you guys, I know if I didn't record it, y'all would be like, how come you didn't show me the basement? So let me show you guys the basement, okay? Um, but before we go down there, there is a half bathroom right here. So it's right off of the garage, which is very nice for those days where you get home and you just can't help it. Now, they made some questionable design decisions in this basement, but we're just gonna roll with it. Like this cobblestone, I'm not the biggest fan of it, okay? But I can see why they did it. They wanted to tie the front of the house in, um, and the lighting down here is trash too, so like I already know that this is not gonna be the, the best lit part of the video, but it is what it is, okay? I'm pretty certain that they built this house on an existing foundation so it's new from like the ground up. So this basement was probably already here. Why they added in that cobblestone to maybe cover up some of the imperfections of the brick and such. Because I can also tell when I'm walking, some of the floor feels uneven and it's just, I don't really like it. Also to add, the ceiling height feels a little bit low, especially for a house that's like newer construction and in the price point that this is. I'm 5'8". And then I have all these boots that give me like another two inches and it just feels a little tight. It feels just a little tight. Let's check out the rest of the house. This is the second floor of the house, okay? So I like what they did, okay? When you get to the top of the stairs, this is the master bedroom. And then you take another set of stairs that takes you to the other part of the house that has the other bedrooms. But I'm gonna show you guys the master. Well, nope, remember what I said, y'all? I'm not gonna call it with slave terms anymore. We're gonna call it the owner's suite. Okay, so let's go check that out. <laughs> so when you first walk in, I love this shiplap wall. It's the cutest little thing. I wonder how I would stage it if this was my house. Like maybe put a giant mirror here or put some sort of like, actually I would put a mirror and I would put a bench because that would be great for selfies too. <laughs> but into the large part of the room if you put your bed this way you can definitely a king size bed a king size bed in this room and then into the closet it's got an interesting configuration i can understand why they did it they did it in like a triangle form to kind of fit as much as you can in here i, I get it it's fair but yeah check out the shelves And then into what I didn't think I would like this bathroom on the pictures, but in person, I'm kind of a fan of it. I'm kind of a fan of it. So I can appreciate the colors, the pattern, everything about this bathroom. They have the honeycomb design on the floor with the black and white contrasting colors. And then they have the um, kind of beige countertop with gray and black accents and the black hardware to match the gray hardware on the cabinets, which is great. These mirrors have a wood feel to them. Somehow, some way it all works to me, in my opinion. What do you guys think though? Let me know in the comments below. And then into this glorious 
shower. They have a couple of different features in this shower. So um, they have this right here that you can take off, you can spray, you can clean, you can do whatever you want. They have this really nice shower head, okay? And then they have these two faucets. One of them controls this one and the other one controls the main shower head. I really appreciate when they take an extra step and add these in because over here you have this bench. So imagine if you didn't have that extension and you were just, the shower head was over there and you had this bitch. It's no point, there's no reason to have it, right? A little pro tip, these also make it easier to clean your shower. Heading up the stairs is, you guys know from the videos that you've watched on my channel before, I am a sucker for a good laundry room, okay? So this laundry room is a little different. It has the stacked washer and dryer and it has the sink but over here they still did sneak in some space you know they snuck in some space to, for folding and such folding storage all that good stuff and then this cute funky tile that ties it all together they have ge washer and dryers as well so i'm sure they probably got it as an appliance package with the kitchen stuff but I like it. I do wish that they would have gotten a faucet that matches the hardware on the cabinets. I feel like they kind of were a little cheap with that. But otherwise, I'm feeling it. Continuing on into the house, we have this long hallway, which I love because it separates the master bedroom from what all the ruckus that the kids got going on, okay? So over here to the left is another bathroom. So this one actually has a double vanity. So I believe this is the bathroom for all three bedrooms that are back here. But it's great to have a double vanity because that cuts down on the morning arguments. Everybody has their own space. Somebody can brush their teeth. Another person can use the bathroom and take a shower at the same time. And over here, they have the, um, the toilet and the bathtub in a separate room. So you can even close this door and people are still in here getting ready. So I think that's great and super helpful. And then to the very end of the house are the three bedrooms. So these bedrooms are actually a pretty decent size. When I first walked through this house before I started recording, I was like, you know what? I can work with this. I can work with this. And they also have pretty great storage space in here. Look at that. To double your storage space, pro tip, if you take another one of these bars and put one right down here, boom doubled your storage space, okay? So you still get to keep all of this up here for shoes and taller stuff and blah, 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 blah. But if you put another one down here, you've doubled your closet or you can half it so that you still have like tall things that you can put over here on that side, okay? Keep that in mind for those tight spaces where you need more storage in them. And then next door, so this room does not have a ceiling fan in it. That's why the light changed. So that one was a warmer color light. And this one is a cooler toned light because it is a recessed lighting in here. But the exact same thing, same closet size, everything like that. And then finally, bedroom number three. This one does have a fan in it. So it has that cooler toned light, but you can also always swap out your light bulbs and whatever the case may be to change the feel and the color of the lighting in the room. But they're all, again, similar size room. They're longer lengthwise than width, but I still like the way that they configured them. Side note, these kinds of windows are my favorite. When they add in these separations, I feel like it just gives it a little bit more charm. What do you think? So that's it. That's the tour of this four bedroom, two full bath, two half bath house. It's currently listed for $700,000 in Michigan. And if I'm being honest, I think they did a great job. Do I think it's slightly overpriced? I do, but a house is only worth what someone is willing to pay for it. So if somebody's gonna buy it, that's how much it's worth. But thank you guys so much for watching. Always remember that you, yes, you darling, are pure gold. And I will see you in the next one. Actually, it's 12 days of Christmas, so I will see you tomorrow, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye guys. One more thing. I am on a mission to reach 10,000 subscribers, okay? Some people seem to think that I'll be able to do it by December 31st, which is a crazy lofty goal, but 
If you wanna see me shine like everybody thinks I can, do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with somebody that you think would enjoy it. All right, I'll see you guys soon.